I was scrolling through the forums today and I found a really good question that I thought would be a quick and easy one to answer live on air than having to go back and forth with text. So hopefully this user doesn't mind, but I'm going to go and I'm going to put in a question that's come through. So the question was as follows. Hi, how do I deal with an invoice raised in Cubio, which I'm then paid by a factoring company less their fee? For example, an invoice is raised for £100 and receives 95 in full settlement of that invoice. How do I deal with the £5 factoring charge and how is it best to show this invoice as fully paid? Well, it is a great question. It's one of those questions that actually we get asked quite a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring us over. So as you can see, I'm in my QuickBooks license. Now I'm just going to jump into a bank account. This business bank account will do perfectly. OK, so I've got this amount here, this £460, and it's been received, but there's been fees involved in it. Now, my calculation is the fees are around about £69, so quite substantial on this one. So I want to make sure I get it absolutely spot on. How do I go about doing it? Well, I'm going to click into the transaction and use the find match option. From find match, I'm going to find the transactions which relate to it. So in this case, it's all these ones here. With that, you'll notice it's come up with £592.84 is my total, which is far more than the £460 I received in my bank. That's because I had a £69.84 difference, and that is my charges. I'm going to use this resolve button here to go in, and from here, I can go in and put charges. And what I'm going to do is put PayPal charges for this one. Uh, the amount that it is, so in this case, 69.84, and then you've just got to be mindful of that. For this one, I'm going to put exempt to that, but it could be a case that you've got some VAT issues as well. I'm going to make sure I've got minus 69.84 just here. Press save. And that transaction's been done. If I jump into my categorize and have a look at it, you'll see that that transaction has been matched to multiple transactions. I've got my deposit 529.84 and my expense of 69.84, bringing me to my net figure of 460 pounds. And there you have it. Hopefully that was a nice, easy answer. As you can see there, it's all about using that resolve button to get what you need. Another alternative could be to use a control account. So I would transfer the money in, transfer all my deposits in, and then the difference in that control account should be the charges that you've had. Have a go at that though, see what you think. And we've already done one on the charges account, a video on this channel. So have a look through it and go from there. Comment below, is there any other way that you've been thinking about using for factoring? Let us know below and we can have a discussion about it. My name has been Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.